interesting though, Matt, isn't it? Because I mean, I, I find that um, that a lot of um, th there is a kind of perception. There are two perceptions, I would say. One of that creativity is not something you can necessarily learn. It's something you're kind of born with. It's innate. And so, how do you actually learn about creativity? So, you know, th there are creative people and then there are non-creative people. So that's a bit of a you know, an assumption, and I'd uh, love to get your, your, your views on that as a worldview. And the other thing is, is creativity is either uh, fluffy or it's dangerous. It's kind of, you know, it's a little bit kind of too challenging. We don't want to get anywhere near the creatives. I mean, how do you deal with that when you're working in, say, a big organization which is used to the kind of the spreadsheets, the waterfall um, approach to management, hierarchies, you know, business as usual rather than business as unusual. Um, you, you, you show by doing mm. is what you, how you do. And uh, you, you also, who's the guy? Robinson. Ken Who, Robinson. Ken Robinson. Yes. All right. Ken Robinson, mm. bless his cotton socks, he died recently. I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, yes, I you know, yeah. Uh, regretfully so. Mm. He is the most watched TED Talk ever yes millions millions of views so i do think things are changing mm. right i mean i do think that yes there's probably an old guard right uh, probably people my age mm. um you know but you know businesses now being you know run by people who've uh, come through a completely different notion yes. of education yes. and their views on creativity and um i i just i i mean I'm not sure that I accept your premise mm. that um, that businesses reject it. Actually, I I, I, am, I actually get a completely the d a different feeling. Okay. Is that and they recognise that it takes a different kind of active and progressive leadership and approach mm. to actually pull this stuff off. You know. Um, yeah. I, I. I. You know. M maybe it's just who, who I hang. I think it's partly actually. There was a big change when Web 2.0 came on mm. and suddenly the customer had voice. Yes, yes, yes. There was a time when I had to persuade people that it might make sense to listen to the customer as part of their process. At least half of my career probably was yes. spent doing that. When Web 2.0 came on and, you know, and... Uh, and that you know then developed more s into more sophisticated social and media. We're we talking about social media, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah because the web 2.0, you know, that was the big change. Yeah, the was that it was yeah. you know both ways and in real time, mm. as opposed to static websites, mm. right? Um, is that th I don't think there's a business on the planet now where you have to go and persuade them that it might be a good idea if you actually talked to your customers and involved them in the process.